A very good evening to all. It's time for Children's Bedtime Treasury with Let Emotion Speak. Don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel for more bedtime stories each night. Today's story is about the wrong kind of puppy. There was only one thing in the whole world that Peter wanted and that was a puppy. Not just any puppy, but a puppy like the ones he had seen at the local dog show. There were lovely brown, fluffy puppies with big, bright brown eyes and wagging tails. Peter had spent all day at the show stroking the puppies and they had spent all their time on their back legs wanting to be stroked even more. Best of all, Peter's parents had promised him a puppy of his very own for his birthday. He could hardly wait. Please can we go and get one like those puppies we saw at the dog show? He pleaded. Peter's father, he shook his head and replied, I'm sorry son, but those were very expensive puppies and they grow into very big dogs. We just can't afford one of those. But we will get you a puppy, I promise, and I'm sure you will love it. Well, Peter was heartbroken. He had no idea that the puppies he had seen were expensive, but he just couldn't imagine loving any other sort of dog. Eventually, Peter's birthday came around. In the morning, he woke up early to find a big pile of presents from his aunts, uncles and little sister. But where was his puppy? He was just about to burst into tears when he saw that one of the presents was from his parents. It was a big square box but it certainly didn't feel like there was a puppy inside. He opened the box anyway and discovered that it contained a collar, a lead, a dog bowl, a brush and a comb and some bone-shaped biscuits. But still, there was no puppy. Without opening any of his other presents, he ran into his parents' room, who was still asleep, and asked where his puppy was. We have to go and collect it today, said his mother. We've chosen you a lovely little puppy from the dog's home that desperately needed a new family to look after it. We can go and get it as soon as we've had breakfast. Peter was much too excited to eat any breakfast, of course, and spent the next half an hour saying, Can we go yet? Eventually, everyone was ready and they all climbed into the car for the journey to the dog's home. Peter sat in the back, clutching the lead and hoping it wouldn't be too long before there was a puppy attached to the other end of it. Soon, they reached the dog's home and one of the kennel maids took them where to Peter's puppy was being kept. But when Peter first set eyes on the puppy, his heart sank. This wasn't anything like the sort of puppy he had wanted. Instead of being brown and fluffy and bouncy, this puppy was tiny and scratchy and timid. When it saw Peter and his family approach, it gave a little wag of its tail, but there just stood in its cage whimpering. Now, Peter had been taught by his parents that you must never be ungrateful for presents, even if they aren't exactly what you wanted. So although he was very disappointed, he reached out and stroked the puppy. The little scruffy puppy timidly approached Peter, licked his hand and then ran off into the corner of the cage. He'll soon get used to you, said the kennel maid brightly. Come on, Rags, time to go to your new home. And with that, she lifted the little puppy up and placed him in Peter's arms. All the way home, the little puppy sat quietly in Peter's arms, occasionally trembling. Now again, he looked up at Peter with his big soft eyes. When they got Rags home, he was so frightened that he ran and hid under the curtains. Peter wondered how he was going to be able to play with such a timid friend. Later that day, Peter was sitting at the table having lunch when he felt something cold and wet against his leg. It was Rags' nose. He peered down to see Rags looking up at him, his tail wagging backwards and forwards. He's looking a bit happier now, said Peter's father. 
it will only be a matter of time before he feels really at home here the next morning peter hurried downstairs as soon as he awoke to say good morning to rags because the truth was although rags wasn't quite happy like the other puppies he had expected he was really getting very fond of him rags jumped out of his basket when he saw peter his tail wagging furiously he's quite a waggy dog after all thought peter then rags picked up his ball and began to play with it every time peter tried to take it rags scurried off with a wag of his tail looking around to make sure that peter was chasing him he seemed to like playing after all as the days went by rags seemed to grow more and more playful he would jump up and greet his family with a big lick and a wagging tail he always wanted to go for walks and to play and he was very quick to learn tricks peter just couldn't believe how much rag had changed from the timid little creature in the dog's home to the happy playful puppy he was now all thanks to a little love and care but the most curious thing of all was the puppy's appearance he had now grown a beautiful fluffy coat and if peter wasn't very much mistaken it was quite brown too and it matched the color of his big brown eyes so kids did you enjoy the story do you have a pet and what is his name or if you would like to keep a pet which pet would you like to keep do let me know in the comments below see you tomorrow with another great bedtime story time to say goodbye and good night